Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and I am, uh, know it's been a while since I last posted my vlog, but it has just been really hectic and I just feel like um, also my son and daughter, we've just all been like passing this sickness around in our house. I don't know if it's anyone else out there that is struggling with the sickness bug, but we definitely have been in our household. Um, but we, um, in this vlog, you'll be seeing me just unpacking from our vacation. We just took a 15 hour vacation um, to Wyoming. And so we spent a week there and we just got back. Um, we got back at one, like 1.30 in the morning. And so I'm just pack unpacking everything um, that we had for like our food and snacks in the car ride. Um, so that's what I'm doing here, just trying to put it all away and just organize our house and then later on um, i'm going to be doing our grocery order um, and then normally we always go grocery shopping which i prefer because i like to be able to pick it out myself but um definitely on crazy busy weeks like this yeah right here we are i'm doing my grocery order while i'm snuggling say um but normally like i said we always go to aldi which i prefer they i love their selections there um, but just on busy weeks like this, when we just get home, it's just, I love the convenience. That's for sure of just ordering it and then it being, um, and then it just being at our house. So <laughs> that is so much better. Um, so we definitely will do that once in a while, but before our groceries get here and I will show you, um, my ways of food prepping and I will also be doing three meals. Um, like I said before, like it's going to be a busy weekend and um, it's just been a very busy couple of weeks. And so um, for our family, like we don't really like to eat out. I don't enjoy it. I'm gluten free. And so like there's not, I don't know, I just feel like it's hard to eat out when you're gluten free. And so um, honestly, I just prefer home cooked meals. I never really grew up with us going out all the time. And so I just love cooking as well and so i just it's just something that i'm passionate about is just food prepping and meal planning and so i'm i just want to share that with you and i hope that all the tips and tricks are super helpful for you and um and maybe giving you some um inspiration on like meal ideas because i understand i know how hard it can be i have a mom of two um titus which you see right there he's just a monkey he's all over the place he is 15 months old and then Sayla she is almost three and so I'm definitely busy and with also working part-time we're just a family on the go all the time so um, those things I feel like just definitely help our family out in um, in just surviving but also I am laughing because uh, I just feel like even when you're trying to clean your house like Sayla got all these books out while I'm trying to organize but you know that's okay it's just mom life and they're still having fun and she her hair is just a mess right now it's kind of cracking me up but anyways we're moving on to folding the laundry that I did not fold before we left and so before I get more laundry um, to fold I'm just putting all these ones away And so now Cody is starting to bring in all of like our suitcases and everything else. Um, there's like a bag of clothes that my sister had given us, boy clothes, which was super nice. And so I just try to organize like what I need to put in the attic. And then also my dad gave the kids a guitar. And so I just feel like we came home with way more than when we left home. And so just trying to um, pack, unpack everything and put everything away.
and so our our groceries just got here and so now i'm just gonna put everything away and it is like it's after nap time so i think it's like three and so i'm also after we get these put away i'll start doing our meal prepping and showing you how i do that which you guys all already know i'm always washing our fruit and vegetables so i'm going to be doing that first before um doing like the other meal prepping and chopping all the vegetables for what i'm doing so i have the three meals like i said um the first one is our um it's like a zucchini skillet and um it was really good i enjoyed it <laughs> i don't think it was cody's favorite just he's not a big huge vegetable fan but i always i just i like vegetables so i feel bad but he can pick them out <laughs> But anyways, that's what I'm doing right here is I'm going to just fill the sink up with water and apple cider vinegar and just clean them and let them soak for a while. It's amazing how much dirt is on them. I would show you, but you can't really see with how dark my sink is, like the dirt that has come off of all the vegetables and fruit. So those are not the zucchini, those are cucumbers. And so I um, am peeling those and then gonna chop them up and put them in just a container. We just like to eat um, cu cucumbers uh, just for a snack um, during the day. And so the peppers I am going to be using for a recipe, um, those are going to be actually for the, um, it's like a, it's a Mexican recipe, what I'm making tonight. It's a Mexican turkey and zucchini skillet, but I just use beef instead of turkey meat. And so it'll be zucchinis and peppers in there. So I'm going to use one pepper for that. And then the rest that I'm using is for a different recipe, which you will not be seeing me make on this video. Um, this week, but um, that was like my Monday <laughs> meal plan. Um, and so I didn't make that for you guys, but I made um, three other ones that you'll get to see. And so I truly do hope that you enjoy them. And so now it is, I am chopping the zucchini for the recipe for tonight. And then I will also be chopping onions later to add to this recipe. But I kind of sometimes feel like I'm all over the place. So <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just mom life. I like just think of one thing and then I do another thing. But anyways, um, I'm doing the zucchini right now and then I'll also be adding the pepper to that.
So now I'm just going to be putting the fruit away. There were like all these little stems on the blueberry, so I'm just trying to pick them all off. <laughs> I like to add paper towels, well normally I put it on the bottom but I forgot to so I just stuck it on the top but it just collects all the moisture and it really does help your um, fruit and vegetables to stay fresh longer. Okay, and so here I am prepping my crock pot uh, meal for tomorrow, which would be Saturday. Um, and so it is um, a Hawaiian crock pot chicken. And this is the first time that I've actually tried this recipe and it was so good and my children loved it too. So that was a win and Cody loved it as well. So it was just a win all together. I love when I can make something that the kids love, Cody loves and I love too. So. Um, you can either put them like on bread, like as a sandwich, um, or you could put it in a lettuce wrap. Um, th but it was really, really good and enjoyable. So I'll also share the recipe in the description below, but it is just a pound and a half of chicken breast. And then, um, you'll use one onion. I just did a half an onion. Um, I'm not like too crazy about like onions. I mean, I like them, but it's just... I hate chopping them <laughs> um, and so that's what I'm doing there so I used a half of it in the recipe for tonight and then um, the rest of, rest of it the other half in the crock pot recipe for the chicken and then it is a can of crushed pineapple it was a 15 ounce can and I had like a 24 ounce can and so I just put I left a little bit left in there and um, my kids love pineapple so they'll just eat that and then it's a, a half a cup of ketchup and then there's um, a liquid amino sauce and that's what I was putting in there and then Worcestershire sauce and then a half teaspoon onion powder salt and pepper and then um, minced garlic and then there's one fourth teaspoon ginger and so like I said before I will post this um, recipe in the description below so I also liked it too because it got an extra marinade just sitting in the fridge all night and then in the morning I just stuck it in the crock pot and turned it on and it cooked for I put it on um, low for eight hours and so now I am working on cooking up dinner for tonight and so it is the zucchini uh, the Mexican zucchini um, uh, skillet and then um, while the meat is cooking and I also am boiling water so I can make the noodles for our Sunday meal which is going to be chicken alfredo and um, and then this is the chicken that will be for the chicken alfredo as well um, so while all of this is happening I'm trying to like just put it all together um, it seems like a lot but honestly like it takes like you know if I can just take my two hours out of my day and just prep it all it really it makes my week so much easier and so much better and then I'm really only cooking Friday and then Saturday isn't that hard because it's the crock pot I just come home and shred the chicken and then of course Sunday I'll, I'll just have to throw all the ingredients and mix them together for the alfredo sauce um, so right now I'm just finishing up cooking all the meat and the noodles All right, and so once the meat is done, um, I put the zucchini in there, the peppers and the onions, and I just let that um, saute in the pan until it gets um, softened. And then you're going to add lime juice.
and then all the seasonings is there's a half teaspoon garlic powder a one teaspoon cumin one teaspoon salt and then you add two tea or two tablespoons of a tomato paste one fourth cup lime juice and then in just a minute i'll add the a can of black beans and a can of corn and then you will add one can of diced tomatoes And so that is what it looks like finished. I um, gave the kids the crushed pineapple um, that was left over in the can and they loved that. <laughs> it's kind of a weird combination with Mexican, but I guess it kind of works and helps with the spiciness. And then I just put some chips on there. But now we're on to day two and I am finally getting to um, the kids' um, suitcase and unpacking that and putting away their stuff in their rooms. I have already put the crock pot meal on and turned it on and I realized I should have showed you guys doing that but I did not grab my camera when I did it so um, but it is in the crock pot cooking and like I said before I just turned it on low for eight hours. And now we're just working on the laundry that I had washed yesterday. Um, it's just uh, the, there was so much laundry. I was just amazed because we did laundry before we left. And it doesn't look like we did laundry before we left. But it's just amazing how many clothes there can be with a family of four. So I was trying to do all of this before we had to leave to go to work um, in the afternoon. So that's what my morning was, is just still trying to unpack and organize everything from our trip.
So I decided I do not like those baskets in, in this drawer. And so I was just trying to see if I like this better, just not having them. I feel like it just took up more space. And so I didn't really have, I don't know. It just felt like it took up way too much space. So um, that is what is, I'm just trying to organize and put these away. So I feel like that looks a lot better and a little more organized. I feel like I could fit more in there now. I just felt like the baskets took up way too much space. And now back into our room, just finishing the last of the laundry and these are the cloth diapers uh, we do both um, like at the weekend during church we always do regular diapers and then when I'm just at home with him we do cloth diapers and so I just had those sitting out and just needed to get them folded Okay, so we just got home from work and um, sorry, it's kind of a short little clip of this, but I just made sweet potatoes to go on the side with them. I like to roast them in the oven. I get these um, from our local Kroger store and they're like the roasting sweet potatoes and they're my favorite. They turn out so good in the oven, um, but they, um, I'm just taking forks and shredding it and then we just add it onto bread um, or like a, I guess, hamburger bun and they turned out so good. The kids loved it and everything. And now I am just doing the dishes after um, we ate dinner. The ki um, Cody's giving the kids a bath and then I'll help them with putting them to bed. But I just thought I'd get a head start on cleaning the kitchen because it just, it was a mess and the kids love to get food all over the floor.
and now we are on day three of cleaning the house and getting everything ready and put away um, my niece is coming over tonight it's her birthday and so her favorite was is chicken alfredo so that's what we'll be making but um, I was so close to it. it took me three days like I said to get our house back in order um, from our vacation but also we worked over the weekend and so um, that was just kind of one of those things that just I had to let it take time to get it back in order um, but I am going to vacuum the floors and kind of clean up the bathroom and we um, tried out this new nine elements and um, I really enjoyed it it's like vinegar based and it's all clean ingredients and um, I am a fan of it it worked really well in the bathroom and I enjoyed the smell I'm kind of picky about smells but I did like the smell
and we're just gonna vacuum and put away all the toys that were out in the living room that Zayla had and then we will um, get to cooking Then we, um, so you have to make bacon. This recipe, it calls for bacon and um, I don't enjoy cooking bacon. So I was actually gonna let Cody cook it and that's why I did not cook it on Friday. Um, so I was waiting for him to do it. But uh, then I, I decided that he, he could go run some errands for us that we needed to get ran. Um, and so I just said I would cook the bacon, which was, it wasn't too bad. Um, and so honestly, this recipe was super easy. Um, I had cooked the noodles, you know, the day before and, um, well not the day before, on Friday. <laughs> so, um, really it was just adding everything to the pot, um, and just cooking the bacon up and tearing it up. So, um, the first thing that I added to the pot was the, um, uh, the minced garlic and that was one tablespoon. And then after that, I added the oat flour and then um, you'll slowly add the milk in and stir it um, and then once that kind of gets a little thick you will add one cup of chicken broth and i used almond almond milk which it was still really good i i don't really care for a lot of dairy like milk dairy i don't like dairy <laughs> like milk i guess i should say not dairy we do like dairy <laughs> but just not milk um, my kids love it but i don't enjoy milk like that um, and then uh, you'll add a cup of Parmesan cheese and then you'll add some shredded cheese, so mozzarella cheese, and then you'll just add all like the cooked chicken breast, the noodles, and the bacon to the pot and just mix it all together. So it just made it really easy and quick. Um, and like I said, I will have all of these recipes in the description below and I truly do hope that you are inspired um, by these recipes and that you give them a try and don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you do make them and um, also I just hope that you um, just see that like mom life is busy and crazy and it's definitely not perfect. <laughs> we are definitely not perfect. We have... Um, just always so much going on and my house is constantly a mess um because two little kids are running around and they um you know they just are into everything which is great and i love this phase it is so much fun but it is also exhausting um so i just hope you see the realness of mom life in our household and just um how how it really is and so um, please don't forget to like this vlog and um, give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.